discuss a new topic which is a materiological factors okay so basically the science of materiology has a great bearing of the air pollution right so is an air pollution problem involve the uh, three part basic the first one which is the source then the movement of the pollutant and there is uh, then the recipient right so the all the meteorological phenomena are a result of the interaction of the elemental properties of the atmosphere like uh, heat pressure wind and the moisture right so in this lecture we have discussed the meteorological condition which directly influence the transport and the disposal of the pollutant right so here on screen you can see that the air movement which influence the effect of the air pollutant right so the any study of the air pollution should uh, include the a uh, study of the local weather patterns right so if the air which is come and the pollutant cannot disperse so then the concentration of this pollutant will be build up right so on the other hand when the uh, when the air will be the strong the turbulent wind blow the pollutant disperse quickly and result in the lower pollution lower pollutant concentration right so it is the meteorological data will help us like uh, identify the source of the pollutant and predict the all air pollution event such a inversion and the high pollutant concentration days and is uh, simulate the simulate and predict the air quality using the computer models right so this all are the uh, data which helpful for the us now the next one which is the wind speed and the direction the first meteorological data which is the wind speed and the direction so basically when the high pollutant concentration occur at the monitoring station so wind, wind data record can determine and the general direction and the area of the emissions right so wind carriers air contaminant away from their sources and it cause a disperse right then the higher the wind speed more contaminant are dispersed and the lower than the concentration right so the stronger the wind more tur turbulent the air and the better the mixing of the contaminant right so here you can see that the image are there so basically the wind and the uh, speed which is given so the higher the speed so the more contaminant are dispersed and lower the concentration there yeah? so in the first figure you can see that the uh, wind speed is uh, 10 meter per second so the concentration of the pollutant are very low and here in the second figure you can see that the wind speed which is lower uh, compared to the first one which is 5 meter per second so that the concentration of the uh, contaminant which is higher right so the mixing of the contaminant is very high at the low speed okay now the next one which is the temperature so the measuring temperature we support the air quality assessment air quality modeling and the forecasting activities right so the temperature and sunlight play an important role in the chemical reaction that occur in the atmosphere to form a photochemical smog from the other pollutant right so the favorable condition can lead to increase the concentration of the smog then warm air assist near the ground and the air can rise easily and carry away the pollutant right then in the temperature it was on the cold air which is trapped near the ground by a layer of the warm air and the during the temperature inversion the smoke can rise and carbon monoxide can uh, reach unhealthy conditions right so this is the temperature now what is the temperature inversion so here on this slide the uh, temperature inversion explanation are given so the temperature inversion it is a reversal of the normal behavior of temperature in the troposphere right in which a layer of a cool air at the surface is overlain by the layer of the warmer air so they occur most often when a warm lens gas air mass moves over a dense cool air mass right okay here on screen you can see that the layer of the cool layer of cool air at the surface is overlain by layer of the warmer air right and the uh, the occur it is occur means when the warm and less uh, less dense air mass move over a dense cool air mass right this can happen uh, for the example when the air near the ground rapidly lose its heat on a clear night right here you can see that this is a normal condition 
where here the normal warm air are there and here this is a cold air there. In this situation, the grounds become cold quickly, right? And here the temperature inversion are air occur when the cold air, which is here, and the warm air which goes to the atmosphere, right? And the temperature inversion will be occur. Okay, the next one which is the atmospheric stability. Okay, this is important for the remaining topic. Okay, so what do you mean by atmospheric, atmospheric stability? So it is determined when a weather or not air will rise and cause a storm, sea and cause a clear skies or a or essential do nothing, right? So the stability it is depend upon the dry and the saturated adiabatic lapse rate and the environmental lapse rate or it is also called the normal lapse rate, right? So the condition here, you know, the three conditions are given for the stable, then unstable and the neutral, right? So if the air parcel is warmer than the surrounding air, then it will be the less dense than the surrounding and will rise like a hot air bulb, right? This is an unstable air and has the potential of creating a storms, right? Okay, now the second condition which is the air parcel is cooler than its surrounding environment, then it will be denser than its environment and will be sink. So this is a stable air which is generally leads to clear the skies, right? This is a stable environment, stable condition, right? And the third one which is the, if an air parcel is the same temperature as its surrounding environment, this is a neutral air, right? Now, I will you I will explain you in detail how this is this condition will occur, right? Okay, so basically here the environmental lapse rate are given. So what is environmental lapse rate? So the rate at which the temperature will change with height in the atmosphere surrounding a cloud or rising a parcel of the air. So the overall average rate which is decreased about 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer, right? So here uh, the, the, uh, the uh, average rate will be decreased by per kilometer which is 6.5 degrees Celsius, right? Where the lapse rate of the temperature is negative or uh, and the inversion is said to be excess, right? Okay, uh, here you can clearly explain. Uh, the word adiabatic it means that no outside heat is involved in the warming or cooling of the air parcel, right? Adiabatic means that is it no outside heat is involved into the uh, warming or cooling of the air parcel, right? Now, the second thing which is the dry air cool at the at about the temperature which is 10 degree per Celsius per kilometer, right? Then it, is, it means that the per kilometer the dry air which is cool uh, by 10 degrees Celsius, right? So while moist air usually cool at the less than which is 6 degree kilometer, 6 degree Celsius per kilometer, right? And the lapse rate that occur in a vertically moving air parcel in which no condensation is occurring, right? So the temperature change is related to the expans uh, expansional cooling which is that occur when the air moves the upward or the downward, right? Now, I will give you some example for that, okay? Uh, so here on screen, you can see that you simply take some uh, some air and, uh, and it is an isolated parcel, right? Okay, so at this point, the air inside the parcel is exactly equal to the air outside like the same temperature, same density, right? So now we will assume that once the air is sealed in the parcel, it can it cannot mix or exchange heat with surrounding air, right? Here the first condition, right? Next, you imagine that lifting the air. So the air parcel will expand and the air in the parcel will pull somewhat, somewhat, right? So the after being the lifted, the air inside the parcel may have a different temperature than the surrounding air outside the parcel, right? This is the second condition. So this is because of the inside the air parcel which is insulated from the surrounding air. Okay, here you can see that the air inside and outside are the same. So the one seal, no mixing or heat exchange with the outside air, right? Now they lift the air parcel above in the environment so that it can from the ground level be not be now be. So the air inside which is different from the surrounding 
f. Okay. Now the second one, which is once we have a lifted f, we let go of the parcel and watch to see what happens next. Right. So if the air comes back to where it started, the atmosphere will be stable. And if the air continues to rise in the atmosphere, it will be unstable. Right. So here for that one example is given. Okay. In this figure, uh, you can see that the air parcel has ended up a cooler and dense that is surrounding air. Right. So in this case, the parcel would sink back to the ground. In the analogy, so where at right, you can imagine giving the rock in the picture, right? So the uh, so that uh, watch to see what happened, right? Basically, in this situation, so about the rock would uh, roll part way up the slope, but then stop, which is turn around and come back down to its original position and where it is started, right? Okay, here on screen you can see that if the air inside the colder than the outside air, so the pressure inside is greater than the pressure of the outside and the browser will be the sink, right? Here you can see that the rock will be the uh, come down its original position where it is started, right? Okay. Now, the next one which is the now the lifted air parcel has a found itself former and the less dense than the surrounding air. It will continue to float upward or in its down own, right? So, this indicate it is an unstable condition. Okay, here on screen you can see that this rock is, is there earlier. This rock in this condition, right? After that they are rolled down or they are pushed down. They are not again come back into their original position. It means that this is an unstable condition, right? So here for that, if the warm, if the air inside is warmer than the outside the air, right? Than the outside the air. So it means that pressure inside which is less than the pressure outside and the parcel will rise the free. So this is an unstable condition, right? Okay, now... Uh, the next one which is the, I will give the example for that. Okay, we need a little more information to be able to perform the test prescribed of it, right? So the first, we need to know the how quickly a rising parcel of air will cool, right? So the unsaturated air uh, relating the humidity less than 100%, which always cool at the rate is 10 degree Celsius per kilometer, right? So this is known as a dry diabetic lapse rate and the term lapse rate just means that a rate of decrease the, uh, decrease with increasing the altitude. A diabetic it means that it is not being exchanged between the air inside and outside the parts. Right. Okay. So the saturated air which is cool at little more slowly and we can use the average rate uh, 6 degrees Celsius per kilometer. It is a most adiabatic lapse rate, right? So, the edge saturated air will rise, expand and cool. The condensation release the latent heat inside the parser. The latent heat energy offset and reduce the cooling due to the expansion. Okay. So, this is uh, there. It is, isn't uh, enough latent heat energy to cause a rising parser to be warm. Okay. Uh, here you can see that this is an unsaturated air and this is an air parcel and the temperature which is the 15 degree Celsius, right? Okay, we know that it is decreased by 10 degree, it is decreased by 10 degree per Celsius per kilometer. So here you can imagine that the air parcel will be go to the uh, 1 kilometer above and here the temperature will be decreased by 10 degree. So now here the temperature will be the 5 degree. Again here the air parcel will go to the uh, 1 kilometer above, right? And here the 10 degree per, cel per Celsius per kilometer will be the reduced. So here the temperature will be the minus 5 degree Celsius, right? So this is an unsaturated air. And for the saturated air, it is a 60 degree per kilometer, right? So here you can see that the basic air parcel temperature which is 15 degree Celsius after the they are uh, above in a one kilometer, goes to one kilometer above and the temperature will be decreased by six degree Celsius per kilometer. So here the temperature will be the nine degree. Again, the temperature will be the, after two kilometers, the temperature will decrease by six degrees. So the temperature will be, the temperature of the air parcel which, which is a 
3 degree Celsius, right? Now, the next one which is, uh, we also need to know the temperature of the atmosphere at a different altitude above the ground. So, the atmosphere can do just about anything. So, for that, here you can see that the middle figure so that the temperature decreasing at rate of the 8 kilometers Celsius per kilometer which is a normal environmental lapse rate, right? So, the left and right example so the air cooling more slowly and the more rapidly here this is a slowly and here this which is a rapidly respectively with increasing the altitude, right? So, this is a basic normal lapse rate. It is a 8 kilometer per Celsius. So, here this is a 15 degree. After the 1 kilometer, it is reducing by 8 degree Celsius. So, here this is a 7. After that, it is a minus 1 degree Celsius, right? So, here you can see that it uh, can cool less rapidly with the altitude, which is 4 degree Celsius per kilometer. And your atmosphere can, uh, can cool more rise rapidly with the increasing the uh, altitude which is 11 degree, uh, degree 11 degree Celsius per kilometer, right? Okay, now I will give you example for the atmospheric stability. So, basically in the first example, we assume the environmental lapse rate which is 4 degree Celsius per kilometer, right? So, this is showing the left column of the figure in the uh, figure above. So, the next two columns show that the temperature inside rising parcel of the unsaturated and the saturated air and they are cool at the 10 degree per Celsius kilometer and the 6 degree, right? Uh, so, the environmental temperature and the parcel temperature are also plotted on the graph on the right side of the figure, okay? So, the parcel curve green and red which lie to the left or the purple, the left of the purple environment curve, so rising the parcel of Rising the parcel of unsaturated or saturated air will both end up cooler and the dense and surrounding environment. If they are lifted and released, they will sink back to the ground and the atmosphere uh, is absolutely stable in this condition or in this situation, right? Okay, so first of all, the temperature of the environment which is 15 degrees Celsius, right? Suppose, so for that the dry rate and here for the moist rate, so, they, they are decreasing by 4 degree or Celsius. So, this is 11. Here, this is again 4 degree. Again, here are 7 degree. They are minus 5. Okay. The dry rate will be decreasing by the 10 degree uh, per Celsius per kilometer. So, here this is a minus 5. Again, this is a minus 5. Then, this is a minus 25. So, the air will be goes to the down. Right. So, this is the environment will be the stable condition. Uh, here for same, same, it is a 15 degree, it is reduced by 8 degree per Celsius, so this is a 9, then 3 degree, then again 3 degree, minus 3 and this is a minus 9, right? So this is again the environment will be the, uh, the temperature will be the reduced, so the air mass will be comes to the down, so this is, this condition will be uh, called, this condition will be called as a stable condition, right? And for that the graph will be plotted, right? This is a normal rate, this is a, a moist rate and this is a dry rate. Now, we will change the environmental lapse rate at the 11 degree Celsius per kilometer. So now, because of the atmosphere is cooling so quickly with the increasing altitude, lift parcel of both unsaturated and saturated air end of the warmer and the less dense and surrounding the air. Okay, both orange and green curve will uh, lie above and the right of the purple curve on the graph, right? Okay, because this is an unstable condition, when release this uh, partial will continue to rise on their own and the atmosphere is absolutely unstable in this case. Okay, here you can see that it is a 15, right? After that, the 4 degree will be the, uh, 11 degree will be reduces. So, here the first one which is 7, and again 7, minus 7, minus 18 and the minus 29 degree Celsius, right? Okay, here the first one which is 15 degree, then 5 degree, again minus 5, minus 15 and minus 15. This is a dry, so here the temperature will be reduced by minus 10 degree Celsius per kilometer. So, this is a 29 and here this is a minus 25. After that, in a dry, dry condition, it is reduced by 8 degree per Celsius. So, it is a 15 and 9, 3, minus 6. Okay, so the difference between the normal and the uh, dry and the wet condition. So, that the temperature or the air will go to the atmosphere, upper atmosphere, right? So, this is called a unstable condition, right? Okay, so this is the all about the today's lecture. I hope you all understood about the what is atmospheric stability in detail. Thank you for
for the watching.